just like these. Round they take care. Cause like the pilot man never lands. Like the 80s flights. I'm like retro in itself. Uh, you know what they're just came out. Look at Lost Your Motherfucking Head. 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 This the pilot man. I just wanna know if struggle relationships is dead. Baby got me all in my head. Then I had a plan, thinking that I should do it alone. After that is dead. Got me spinning up all my plans. I'm a man in land. Until that day, baby, I feel a fool. Spirits just begin to get a feel of you. Any misapplication, you know it's you. Come in my presence, baby, let's do the do do. Gary, I'm gon' tell you what heaven is for When I'm talking shit, it's just like the seven of swords You was tryna take mine, but you better with yours Can't fix what's already broken, so just let it be torn Yeah, I got a thought, an idea that can take us to a proper spot Relax and let your conscience be free, you talk a lot You doing too many things, we gotta watch the cops Baby, I'm not gonna stop It's our Philly We're going down Yo, what's going down, Dolo? Say bo, say bo. You know, with the topic, I mean, I feel honestly, you can make a hell out of both situations. To be honest, if your mind not right, but both situations, because instead of speaking of strike, I speak personally, like, I definitely manifested the person I was with in difficult circumstances, but the way I manifested them, shit was perfect. But it, it just showed me that I had to I had to set my focus up. And you could be with someone and they could be on the same page. And you can still fuck that up if your mind ain't right. And you can be with your damn self. And if you and if you and if you if you flunked out, you're not you're not really focusing, you just you know what I'm saying, you can fuck that shit up too. But on the flip of that, you can get with someone and personally I heard a lot of people saying, you know, if you're both struggling on the same page, but sometimes I feel like they could be struggling more than you, but if you if you if you got your mind right, you can help at least. It's not your job to put anybody in a certain direction, but especially if you care about someone, you could you know you could guide them along. But that's based off of not necessarily, in my opinion, especially if you can bear. Exactly, and, and it's not necessarily because you like oh I'm a god this person. It's like you're trying to guide your damn self, and you're leading by example, and they attach to you so off. Just so rip, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna catch a little bit of help. Yeah. And that, that's what a man's supposed to do. The, the, the man really ain't supposed to be, but what the female her submissive energy is supposed to be correlated to is if we got a shared goal and her ability to actually be a part of it in some way, shape, or form. So a lot of times we fail to realize when we get into relationships, we don't even be having nothing for each other to be a part of. And that's already a red flag that we don't see because we might be more in the filtering system of the root chakra or lust and things of that nature. So a lot of times we got to realize that too. Yeah, and you speak on that. I remember you speaking on that, not just even just in relationships, even just dealing with, let's say someone trying to connect with you, or you're just trying to check with any damn body. You better try to, you better have something going for yourself when you're trying to, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to bring something to the table. So that, I, th I feel what you just said is inspired because I go past male, female. You know what I'm saying? That's just a connection law right there. Real shit. So, so which one you think in a nutshell is better? Being it, uh, is, is relationships, struggle relationships being dead or is better to struggle alone? Damn, that word struggle, that whole, that whole world struggles fucking me up because it's like I would say, I would say to be honest, uh, if I just had to answer, I would say it might be it might be better to struggle with somebody only because if you could if you could manifest somebody else to go through your same struggles, you already got to count the importance of like your your focus. You know what I'm saying? So and so the mere fact that you can, but then you could be. I feel like you could be focused and be by yourself too. But I don't know the mere fact that you bring some, you could bring somebody else into into your whole vibe of struggle. You might be able to. That might be be what you need at the time because you was talking about that love energy and having things come out that love energy. You know what I'm saying? So you might have needed that. It may seem like a struggle relationship because it's not perfect, but all the stuff is there for you to you know take it out that struggle. So I, I, I so I, I want to be mad long winded and. Not and so I would say I had to get some game. Say it again. No, I said no. Nah, you kicking some game. Yeah, I would say I would say, but if I had to just answer, answer, I would say it, 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 um struggle with somebody probably better, especially if you labeling it struggle relationship. You might as well struggle with someone and and and, and help help you both out. And 
I don't know. And that you talking about all possibilities. If you if you helping someone out that struggle, you definitely in my in my mind, correct me if I'm if you feel different. You working for God right there. So yeah, I would say it's better to struggle with someone. You know what I'm saying better be in a struggle relationship than by yourself for sure. Yeah, that's what's up. All right, yeah, what's up? That's what's up. Shout out to eight 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 artists. That's that's yeah, it, right? bro. Yeah, you said it right, bro. Bro, shit. All right, easy. And I'm and I'm glad and I'm glad I put the uh the, the term struggle on there because that that make us really think because I want people to understand we're all struggling, but not in the context of because a lot of us got money a lot of us don't and things of that nature so not in that context but in the context that we're all trying to build so we're all trying to start something from the ground up so right now it it, it centered the focus on trust. Because is it better to start something like an idea with someone else to build it that's on the same path? Or is it better to go ahead and get that idea built already, then put yourself out in the world after you already got the job done? And that that puts the focus on what relationships supposed to be about other than expectation and what put the weird pressures on men and women in today's time that keep developing into these goddamn gender wars and shit like that. Where, you know, a lot of times these gender wars is unwarranted and it'd be misguided energy that, you know, sometimes we're just trying to be in survival mode and just being in survival mode may block a lot of heart chakra circumstances to be manifested. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, when we start to talk about relationships and things of that nature, that's what we need to be focused on. You know, because a lot of times if we're not focused on even the term struggle, but taking it out of the context of, you know, each individual being broken at the moment, whether emotionally, trauma wise, or even physically as far as material or maternal, this puts us in the energy of understanding the struggle have to come from the mental world first, then manifest down here. And that's where we get into the context of your thoughts and feelings actually matter, right? Where, you know, another person can matter. And teamwork makes the dream work in totality. So both of that matter that y'all got as a mental connection bends in on itself and become physical representations as far as circumstances and dealing with people, places, and things. So you want to make sure that, you know, when you're having certain connections and shit like that, when we talk about struggling, that that's the right starting point in the correspondence. Or you'll be finding yourself in a self-devaluating situation where you reevaluate yourself because you'll be looking at things that you think you're not good at, or you think that you're not good enough for due to the fact of what you may see that's presented online or presented on TV or these movies. And before you even go after your crush or your love interest or your soulmate twin flame, you start to waste time in life getting these objects or looking a certain way or getting a certain phone to look a certain way to present yourself in order to think that that's how you're going to get the attraction and the attention. And then you're going to place yourself into situations where you might try to obtain a lot more attention from individuals that have nothing to do with your love interest and therefore that might create a little bit more resistance between you and your actual goal thinking that these are the new ways of trying to present yourself into the world so you have to be careful of that also because we could fall short to these things due to the fact that what social media have placed us in